When you're looking for an affordable and easy way to update a room, well, adding a splash of color is definitely an excellent way to get the job done. And Liz Schlesinger, our consultant from Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, is here back with us, I missed you, to share the latest <laughs> trends in color. Good morning, Liz. Good morning. I'm glad to see you. Thank you. You we're, look great in color. Well, we're both wearing color today, it's nice. <laughs> we sure are. Well, let's talk a little bit about the current trends we're seeing in color right now. Well, from the last market that was in April, yes. from uh, High Point, North Carolina, uh -huh. The colors uh, were different shades of gray, and then there was the Bohemian Rhapsody <gasps> collection, which was rust tones and reds and real vibrant colors. Can I make a really bad joke? That sounds like it's fit for a queen. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. You said Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, no, but there really, there's so many color choices. There's so many. There and are. for someone like me, who's probably the most indecisive person I've ever met, how do you actually identify the right color for each of your rooms? How do you pick? Well, a lot of people have favorite colors that they that they gravitate to, and okay. they actually do that sometimes even with what they wear. That tends to sometimes be their favorite colors. Interesting. So we want people to feel comfortable in their home furnishings as well. So okay. we tell them what colors do you like, okay, or what colors do you dislike? We want to pay attention to what they're telling us. Well, we can see so. that color wheel on the screen. So talk a little bit about that and how it works. Okay, you've got uh, three categories and um, you're looking at the um, the first group is the primary colors, which is going to be your blue, okay. your red, and your yellow. Got it. And then your secondary colors are orange, mm -hmm. uh, violet, mm -hmm. and green. And then you've got your third color, which is your tertiary colors, and that's a combination and that would be like your red orange yellow orange blue violet or blue green mm. so you can take combinations of these and create your color palette well using more so. than one color in a room yes. really does make the room pop so yes. how do you suggest that we choose the fabric colors because it's different fabrics look different in different colors they do um, and it sort of plays up in um, what you're trying to create in the room. Okay. Um, you can either pick a print or a fabric, okay. that's a solid. Mm -hmm. And um, from that, there are a lot of times the palette within the printed fabric that you want to pull out and play up. Okay. You can start off with neutral tones, mm -hmm. and if you keep it fairly neutral, then you can introduce your color. And even if you change your color theme at a later date, mm -hmm. you can always take another color into that pull and that change in. it. Exactly. And you kind of do that with our set here, because the couch is kind of neutral, but right. you bring in color with the rug, you bring exactly. in color with the pillows. See, and I love that. And you know, you also add those finishing touches, which are the accessories, and that adds and a lot to that's the fun too. part, to add accessories. Talk a little bit about that. Well, actually, in uh, accessorizing, that kind of brings out your personality mm -hmm. and what you're wanting to bring and tell about yourself. Definitely. A lot of times, there are treasures that you've had uh, that you want to put and feature, and we, when we go to people's homes, we say, what is important for us to keep in this room? And we want to mm -hmm. keep those things in mind. Yeah. So. There's little things, I mean, and you look at this picture, you can see just those little details, what right. a difference they make. Right. Tell me some of the things we're looking at here. So this particular picture is um, two colors that were picked from the uh, opposite sides of the wheel. Okay. They're called complementary, so they're two opposite uh, colors that you can pick, and that goes uh, for the entire wheel. You can pick two opposite colors and do a color palette that okay. way. Okay. So that's called complementary. Hmm, nice. There's a lot of different palettes. Well, now, what's this one? This one's called monochromatic. Okay. And what color was taken from here was a shade of purple and all shades and hues of purples were put in this picture, so it gives a very soothing I was just gonna say flow. soothing. Mm -hmm. Yep, that it was the first flow. word. And, it, and you know, they always say lavender kind of relaxes you. Oh, it is, you, it's it a very, peace. very, very calming, very soothing. Mm -hmm. Love that. Oh, and, and this one's fun. This one's called a split complement. So they've, so it's almost a triangle off of the color wheel that they pull three colors off of that, but it gives a really nice balance. So yeah. you see some, some dark, but you see some uh, paler shades, and it just gives a real nice contrast. It's like a raspberry or something mm -hmm. like that, right? Like That's raspberry, beautiful. a yellow, and then of course in the accessorizing, the blacks really stand off against that uh, yellow background. I like the greens, and I like to do a lot of pillows. Like in my room, yes, I have about pillows. 12 pillows. I love all the pillows. I think it just adds something, it just adds a comfort <laughs> level. It does, and pillows are so easy to change. They're mm -hmm. a very inexpensive Good way point. to change it out. Definitely, and you know, if you have trouble making up your mind like I do, Lazy Boy can actually help steer you in the right direction. Tell us a little bit about the in-home program and how it works. Well, our in-home um, is uh, people come in, they have usually have a color in mind that they want to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, from that point, we um, have them pick frame. Okay. And then typically I come into the 
to the uh, process at that point. Okay. And uh, we go out to the house, we take uh, pictures, we take measurements, we look and see what the environment looks like, mm -hmm. what they're trying to accomplish with it. Then we come back to the store, we do a presentation, and at that point, we make final decisions Great. and get everything custom ordered for And them. do you use all of these for people to help choose? Well, this, this here is just a color palette okay. for suggestions. Um, these are some of our leathers, and as you can see, it's almost like a color wheel. We've got a lot of, um, of selection to pick from. Okay. And then these, I've just kind of noticed a trend lately. A lot of people are going to organic fabrics. Nice. So these have got a really uh, nice texture to them. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you can add a pop of color. This is still an organic looking uh, fabric, so yeah. you can add a pop of color. So neutral, but still really right. nice and still cheerful, which right. I like. And then this is just something that li gives sort of a happy feel to it. It's got yes. a lot of palette of uh, color to it. Fantastic. And then this would be sort of a monochromatic tone, which That's are just classy, mm -hmm, which like are like that. an earth tone. So. Let's remind all our viewers where they can find you, Liz. Two different locations, of course. At uh, 5004 San Mateo Northeast and 3750 Ellison Northwest. And you can always go to the website as well for more details. And I highly recommend asking for Liz or Jen and just saying, <laughs> hey, help me out because they will be there for you. You, you guys That's are really right. fantastic oh, thank at everything you, you do. Can thank I keep you. my color wheel? You may keep the color wheel. <laughs> okay, good. You can buy those at uh, art supply stores. Perfect. They're great to have. Great they to are. have on hand. Pocket color wheel. Go for it.